from this program of music to bring you a bulletin just received in the WOR newsroom. Roger, Roger, you're not Oh, the humanity and all the plans are speeding, Roger. I may, at an early hour in the morning, recapitulate the... From sci-fi to music, computers to entertainment, nothing is off limits. Coming to you live from the Danger Room, go to Best New Two-Person Podcast East of Atlanta. This is Rogecast. And now, here is your host, T.R. Love. The rules of dating. Can't say that. There the secret rules. guide into the secret guide for men. For men about rules for dating, isn't it a woman's guide? But it's like a secret society for guys. To right. We're out. gonna look at. We're gonna look at the. They have ten steps. Ten steps. And then we're gonna look at the ten steps and then use those to, and then learn how to use those to our advantage. Okay. Okay. It says uh, one: Don't color or cut your hair at the beginning of a relationship. Your new love interest might be nice about it. But he won't like it. Okay, so if you're a blonde, don't go brown. If you're a brown, don't go blonde. Well, at least in the first, like, you know, if you start dating someone, because then that they feel, I guess, that, the, you know. They've the, lost the, that love and feeling for the original you. Well, no, I guess because, they, you know, they liked you in the beginning. Why change your hair? Oh, okay. Unless, because, they, unless you make a comment like, your hair could really be changed. And then maybe you go do it. Uh-huh. So no, no haircut. No haircut. At least for it, it, a couple months. My, the survival guide would be if your if your girlfriend starts changing her hair, get out. Get out. Yeah, that means that be, maybe it's time on. to pull the ripcord, and maybe she'd be start be able to start looking for other things. If if your girlfriend comes home with a new bob and mm-hmm. a blonde do, then you probably could realize that she might be dating someone else or thinking about that. At least. Or she's ready to date somebody. Or else. she's ready to date someone else, and you say, ah, "I'm out. I'm out." Uh, don't Step be one. be ready for the talk. Be ready for the talk. <laughs> okay, uh, it, it'd be it's not really you; it's me talk. <laughs> Get out of it before she gets you out of it. There's, uh, yes, there's and, the and rule. always break up with her first, and yeah. then <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, if she comes home with a new do do, go, honey, we need to talk. I'm breaking up with you immediately, yeah, even if she's cheating on you. <laughs> okay, so what's step two, Tia? Uh, okay, wear whatever you want, just wear it well. Uh, don't try to squeeze into a size ten. Or a, a ten body into a size two dress. Be proud of who you are. Okay. I think I think that would be that if your girlfriend starts coming home with new clothes and starts wearing something different than she did before, this would be a time to go ahead and yeah, get out, mm-hmm. do the talk. So she starts dressing differently. Yeah. Oh, so if you were dating a punk and then she becomes a prep, you should probably get mm-hmm. out. <laughs> Step three. This is going to be so. This is going to be funny unto itself. Uh, say what you mean. Subtle hints are scary enough and can be misinterpreted. Mm. Wow. Coming from a wor- woman, when are the, when? Uh, what do they ever say? What they mean anyway? Well, and when is it subtle? Yeah. <laughs> like if they're going to say what they mean, they're going to tell you. There's no subtle well, then hints. They're always subtle. They're always they're, they always think that they're going around in circles and trying Maybe. to get us to do whatever they want. So just if she starts being real subtle about it, get out. Okay, step five. (laughs) Find out who does the laundry. If a guy's old girlfriend or his mom is sorting his socks, you know he's not ready for a relationship. Okay, what what who what guy? What guy is still hanging out with his ex girlfriend just or his so mom. she can do the laundry? (laughs) Or his mom? I used to take my, my my mom the laundry home in college, but that was only because. I that was college. That was college. That was and college. And so, if you're, st- I mean, if someone's living with their mom, they can at least do their own laundry if they're mooching off the parents. But yeah, I mean, girls, seriously, if your boyfriend is still seeing his ex girlfriend and she's doing his laundry, you're an idiot. Uh, but, There's yeah. no reason to even but, explain that. You're maybe, an idiot. Maybe doing the laundry is subtle code for doing something for yeah. having fun. Oh, maybe. I've got to go over to my ex girlfriend's house and do, do the laundry. laundry. It's going to be about two hours. How come you don't do the laundry with me anymore? Well. <laughs> yeah. My ex-girlfriend's doing my laundry. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, okay. Step number f- uh, step number six. Don't be too available. Men are hunters. Remember. So, okay. Don't be too available. So I think they I think they spell this wrong. It's men are hunters, and you want to be you want to be prey for them to be for them to hunt you. You don't want to go after them. You want them to come after you. So men want a meek, timid girl. No. That will sit in the corner. No. I don't oh. think the, I don't read that at all. You know, you think one, you think two, it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words, and you got that out of seven words. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's saying. It's saying men are hunters. Mm-hmm. Let them come for you. Yes. Okay. But no, I think this is. I think what they're saying is use this to your advantage. 
Okay. Oh, use that. Lure them in. Lure them Trap in. Trap them yes. in. Where the hunter becomes the hunted. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. See? That's an interesting subject. Yes. So basically, that step is, as a woman, mm-hmm. trap your male in a cocoon <laughs> and keep them there. But don't we turn into butterflies? Oh, that, this, is um, wrong. this is going so... Yeah, I'm not going... I'm going to, going actually, I'm going to back up this whole please, subject. Okay. Please. Don't use the cocoon evermore. Don't. Okay. <laughs> don't talk about your ex. Reveal your deepest, darkest secrets. Complain a lot or, or, or uh, interrupt. And don't tolerate any kind of behavior from your dates. Yeah, uh, I think this is the, f- this is the worst. This is the first, the first rule of dating. Um, don't talk about your ex. Yeah. Don't reveal important. too many deep, dark secrets. Yeah. Complain a lot, at least on the first couple, at least on the first couple dates. Or at least when you, you, we want to, we don't want to know everything about you on the first date. No. We want to get to know you. Yeah, that's the point of getting to know you. Like if, if uh-huh. you tell me that you're a serial killer on the first date, obviously I'm not going to call you back. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, but. Then again, it's nice. You to know, know, but it's it's nice to get to new things as you're dating. Right. It's you don't want to know everything on the first date, or then it kind of everything. Because then there's nothing to find out. It gets dull. Yeah. It gets kind of boring. Well, going back to the serial killer, how many people do you have to kill to be a serial killer? Um, three. Oh, well, I'm not good. That was yeah, all right. Then I'm still so, I'm still not safe. a serial killer. You're safe. You uh, wonder where Big Tommy is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's number three. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Well, you know what? Because you've ser- seen Big Tommy, I haven't seen him. Yeah. By the way, is it only if you're if there's three? Is that three that they know about, or do um, you- <laughs> it's three that are confirmed? Oh, it's confirmed. So I've got wow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm you're, you're, not, got, you're in bad shape. I'm in bad shape. Okay, uh, be yourself. No bragging. No lying, or you'll get busted sooner or later. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with having self confidence and and being full and being confident, but I think bragging and lying. Yeah, but what are you bragging about to your mm. boyfriend that's going to be a bad thing? No, but, you know, it's one thing to say that I climbed, kill him, uh, uh, okay. ca- you know, I climbed and I'm a hiker and, I, you know, I climbed K2. And then and, you take them outside and they can't do anything. Yeah. I got you. I thought maybe it was like, don't like you know, I, I think that's a, You know, I think that... W- I think everyone knows that we're kind of full of ourselves to begin with. And yeah, we don't need we all <laughs> expect We all expect to be like new car salesmen where they go, each go out and go, you know, this is the best car. This is the best sports car money can buy. Yeah. Well, we all take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, we, yeah. Don't, we don't go out there and look at a, you know, a, a, you know, a, a two-seater Miata and go, this is better than a Ferrari. We oh, know yeah, that's lying. But we can, you know, there's... Well, we like there's, to hype ourselves up. Yes, we like we, to hype ourselves. We like to be the ones but I don't that think and brag. I don't think that's bragging, though. No, that's I just, think that's self-confidence. That's self-confidence. Yeah, I think there's a thin line, there's but I, I, I think the difference between self-confidence and bragging is uh, self-confidence is your, your toes dangle over that line, mm-hmm. but you're, you haven't stepped over and it. And bragging is just rubbing it in someone's face. Oh, yeah. Bragging is, yeah. I hate those people when you talk about something and they, they come back with something better. Something better? Yeah. You know, oh, yesterday, uh, you know, I can't believe this, that I did well in the beach, bar- you know, the beach bum marathon. And then somebody goes, oh, yeah, well, I ran the New York triathlon. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I shot a 71 today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I shot a 60. Pl- no, I played golf with Tiger Woods and beat him. <laughs> uh, okay. There's the big one. There, <laughs> yeah. there's, the, there's the brag of the situation. Right? There. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we got? Right, don't tell your date what you like about him. Stroke that ego a little. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I see. Okay. I, I think this is all about being mysterious. Yeah, they want you to be dark and mysterious and mm-hmm. not let on too much. But, but I think this goes back to don't reveal everything at, f- at the first time. Yeah, but I don't know. It's, it's good to know what you're doing right on the first date, though. Ooh, I, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's good to know, well, you make good conversation. Yeah, but you, that's not um, – it says tell your date about um, what you like about him. Did I read that wrong? Tell your date what tell you like date, about him. What you like about him. I yeah. thought you said tell your don't tell your date. I'm sorry, but tell no. your date what you like about him. Oh, okay. Stroke as you yes. go. I'm sorry. I, we'll have to back this up. That's fine. Okay. No, no, I think that's true. That's about, I, I love to hear what I'm good at. Mm-hmm. Or what uh, I've done or, nice. or not good at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I hate you know, that. I I think it's kind of fun when you get teased a little bit too. Just a little. <laughs> as long as it's not malice. Yes. Yeah, I think teasing's good and having fun with it. But yeah. I don't think it's when a little too much. Yeah, I think it's how you tease somebody or how you do it. It can be really funny and, and laugh at it. And you Sometimes can laugh it at your, can be really bad. And when you can laugh at yourself, too. That's a really If different. you can laugh at yourself, mm-hmm. you pick the winner. Okay. Uh, be, consi- um, be considerate. For example, call if you'll be late. Okay. Uh, expect the same from your date. Okay. If he doesn't deliver, get rid of him. You deserve better. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. You deserve if, if he's mm-hmm. going to be late, let him. He should at least let you know. Yeah, at least. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm all I'm I'm all about that. I have no problem with that. that. That's a good tip. 
for any mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. If you want to date someone more than one time, don't be late. Don't be late. So just show up on time first couple of months. Yeah. And then if you want to be late, you can kind of pull it off, especially if you're in good. But mm-hmm. for the first couple of weeks, don't don't be late. Yeah, and I think that and expect the same from your date. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, uh, and then they have some tips. Okay. Don't drink too much on your date. Okay. <laughs> of course you're nervous, but uh, <laughs> uh, but don't drink too much. I think that's uh, how many times have we seen this one? Yeah. Where they go on a date and then they drink too much and then uh, we can take the Seinfeld, you know, yada yada yada, yada. yada. or <laughs> or you make an ass out of yourself, fool out of yourself. I then. still love that episode where uh, where Elaine goes. I went on a date. And the, you know, we went to the and, restaurant. No, no, and I had I had some sort of soup, lobster bisque. I had lobster bisque, and then we went home and yada, yada, yada. yada. I didn't. And then uh, Seinfeld goes, "You didn't tell me the best part." And she goes, "I did the lobster bisque." The lo- <laughs> I, did, I told you about that. The yada yada over the best part. No, I told you about the lobster bisque. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's good to it's good to be kind of good about drinking. I mean, mm-hmm. you shouldn't get you shouldn't drink that much anyway. But it's good to. Yeah. Hold off a couple of weeks. You don't want to be an alcoholic on the first day. Wow. On ehow.com, um, tips for a good date. Mm-hmm. Be considerate. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what else? It is, uh, freshness. Freshness. Uh, smell yeah. good. Smell good. Take a shower, brush Take your teeth. Shit, please. Always <laughs> say something. So don't be quiet. Um, this is from Renee. Renee says, when she says, I love you to you, repeat, I love you too. Okay. Don't be shy. So don't go like when someone says I love you. Go yeah, yeah. Me too. Ditto. D- <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. Uh, <laughs> don't worry too much about your appearance. I think that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think that there's a. I, th- I think there's a. There's a lot of good rules in there. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I was thinking we were gonna read this and it was gonna be like, you know, don't you know d- don't do this. It's really stupid. But uh, there are a lot of good ones. Aren't uh-huh. There are a lot of ones that make sense that you would you would think that you don't have to tell people. Yeah. Don't worry about your appearance. I think that I think that your per- I think your appearance needs to have some priority, but don't don't worry completely 100 percent about it. Don't don't change who you are Ooh. for the first date. Uh huh. Don't don't sweat it. Mm-hmm. Um, it says uh, don't ever push someone in, into going out with you, and neither of you will really enjoy the date. On yeah. the other hand, go out with who you want to go out with. Yeah. So it's saying like yeah. you know go after the person you want to date, but if you don't think there is anything there, mm-hmm. don't force it just because she may be the prettiest girl in the world Ooh. or something. Uh, Stacy says clean your plate. Nice. When you're out to dinner, you know, don't forget the, uh, forget about your diet. You're on a date. Wow, nice. that was great advice. Nice. Nothing's so, worse than uh, – I hate when women are afraid to eat in front of you. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? I, I'm going to see you – if I, I want to take you to dinner do? if I don't see you eat. Come on. Yeah, I, that's just like saying, you know. Ooh. A, a Rebecca says don't get together the next day. Wow. Give it a day. Give it a day. Wow, Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Rebecca, you should. Um, that's that's good advice. <laughs> Dumb questions. Um, yeah. Don't ask stupid questions like, "Am I bugging you? <laughs> Am I annoying? <laughs> yes. yes. Are you mad yes. at me? Though, th- you know, what? that's just that goes back to self confidence. Yeah. If you if you don't have the self confidence to just realize when someone's mad at you. Ooh. Or Kelly says, "Kiss and tell." Wow. And don't. And it says, "I think that that's just the headlines." It says, girls and guys uh, don't tell each other if they're a really bad kisser, da da da. Mm-hmm. If one is a really bad kisser, tell them and maybe you can improve. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hidden messages. Don't give away any hidden messages. Yeah. Let him know. Mm-hmm. Car etiquette. Ooh. Okay. When he opens the car door for it, reach over and unlock his side. It shows your thoughtfulness. That was from Jody with an I, by the way. Jody with an I. Yeah, I want to make sure that wasn't Jody with a Y. It could be a guy. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, uh, but this is really annoying. Don't stare at other people. When you're on a date and they look around at other First people. First date, don't look at butts. Keep the butt looking to a mm-hmm. minimum. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kara says, say what you're thinking. Uh-huh. And that's really. So, you know, if, if you're not having a good time, don't, don't well, pretend you know, like you're having a good make time. Su- you know, if, it, if you're not having a good time, make suggestions. How you could have a better time. How you could have a better time. Maybe you could go someplace else. If the movie, if, you know, if you're doing something and it's not going anywhere. Go Maybe somewhere else. Go somewhere else. If you're yeah, playing miniature golf and you both suck and you're not having a good time, mm-hmm. you know I beat Tiger Woods in miniature golf one time. Me too. Oh, okay. Everybody's beat Tiger, <laughs> but I beat Tiger Woods in miniature golf with my eyes closed and one hand tied behind my back. Were you playing on Mount Everest? No, I was actually playing um, in Death Valley. Ooh, I I could see where, yeah, I could see where Death Valley would take it. Yeah. But I played with Tiger Woods and Vijay Singh. Well, I played with Tiger Woods and his dad. Oh, okay. Before he passed away. Oh. 
Okay. Art recipes are woods. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Ah, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to say you win on that one. We should probably end end this this segment. <laughs> no, I on think this is a great episode where you know things can go badly and uh, things. It was a, that was a really <laughs> bad. <laughs> but I think that. Stuff but at each but other. keep going, you know. This is you know. We're we're just we're just fighting. Just, we're just fighting. Fighting yeah. to make the minutes. Uh -huh. Enjoy yourself. Don't be anxious. Uh, I in the beauty of the beholder. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Know when you're having a good thing. Don't mm -hmm. be shallow. There you go. And uh, give us a little help. We just talked about that. Yeah. If things aren't going badly. Yeah. Give us a little help. Give and, us a little help. And in fact, on the on the idea of giving us a little help, email us with yes. suggestions. Oh, wow. About we went full circle now. Segue. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's how you segue with the best of them. Give us any suggestions about next week's episode. We've mm -hmm. got a couple days, so you got a shoot week. us something. Yeah, get, you know, if you want to hear... If you want to hear the guides to men, men. If mm -hmm. you want to hear guides to dogs, yes. email us a link. Send us your information. We any will, any new technology that's coming out? Exactly. And if you want, if you allow us to, we probably say this. If you say something in an email that you don't want us to say on the air, then don't send it. Because <laughs> we'll, we're not gonna we're not gonna I mean, hold back. I, I was gonna say put it in bold letters. Yeah, <laughs> really. Please big. do not read. <laughs> but like, because I mean, if you put something down stupid, we're gonna probably quote it, and we won't we won't talk about it and enjoy our quote. But email us. Email us. Adam okay. at roadcast.com. Tr roadcast.com. Take the survey. There you go. Take survey. I buy a t-shirt. Buy a t-shirt. Send me one. Thanks for listening to another fine episode of Roadcast. For more information on the topics, guests, or hosts from this show, please visit Roadcast.com. The content of all segments of this show is copyrighted by Roadcast.com in 2006.